sit on, sit on there. So hopefully, uh, you know, yeah. by the time we get the spring 2019, you might have done it. He needs to look at all the posts. Really. Well, he needs to quote first of all, of course, because he hasn't even quoted them yet. So yeah. he needs to look at it first yeah. of all, see what he's going to charge us. He charges. needs to go and rattle the posts <laughs> on the <coast. laughs> Thank you. Hi, where's Malcolm? Um, on the approach to the motorway bridge in Hart Road, both um, directions, there are um, some potholes developing. Um, I keep an eye on them. And also at the um, entrance into the um, A38, um, it seems to be constantly flooding and um, they don't seem to be able to do anything about it. Flooding, did you say? Yes. yes. Yeah. Flooded today. Yeah. Oh, well, the pot the 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 Yes. yes. Right. Can I ask Bob, um, the government was going to give a load of money for potholes. Yes, we just said that. Yes. It? Sorry. Yeah. Yes. It's it's sorry. just got whispered, sorry they said. Right. Um, and we've still got some tennis courts, tennis courts yes. which I reported about a year or so yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, is that money filtering through yet? Yes, the money has is coming through, so yes, it, it's a good time to be flagging up okay. potholes again. Well, I'm going to go see how we get on. Ooh. Right, thank you. Uh, at number 23 in Brent Street, um, I reported last time that there was an overgrown head falling out all over the, over the path. Actually, they've attacked it. They haven't really cut it back. It's still, it's, it's been cut, but not cut right back. I don't know whether we need to grow some yet. Uh, we can do. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I, I, I can look on the, because obviously the thing about the person involved, I'm not. Well, somebody did, place. somebody has done it, funny enough, because I spoke to you the very next yeah. day, yeah. it had been done. But it only just, it's yeah. been given a haircut. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. And it's still, it's still bulging out about that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perhaps we need to put something in BK in as a reminder next time. I'm sure the hedges. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to be very careful. I've obviously got the new electoral roll come through now, but I've been told that it can only be used for certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, it can't necessarily be used for identifying people who we want to write to, necessarily. It might fall into a category where we can, mm -hmm. but it may not. So we need to be, just be very careful about that yeah. under GDPR rules. Okay, thank you. Uh, Richard? Malcolm. Sorry about that. Um, one thing that I missed. Um, at the top of uh, Brent Street, there's an inspection uh, panel that's deteriorating all the time and it's getting worse and worse and no action seems to be mm. happening. So it's Prince Street's uh, inspection cover? Yes, it's dropped down and um, it is quite um, a serious um, thing. When you say, say Tolbert Prince Street, do you mean, is there a specific place where I can, you know, it's it down um, by John Hale. Oh right, it's right up there, is it? Like yes. Right? Oh, near gas box in really? Yes. yes. I think um, Bob has spoken to somebody about that at one stage. Yeah, they, they, they did do a repair to it, but the repair itself has collapsed. <laughs> Is it worth pursuing um, a weight limit restriction? The only reason I raise that yet again, I was conscious of the significant increase in eight wheelers coming down. Station Road and down Burton Road. That mm. I'm, I'm not going to the beach. I have it's no idea what they're there. doing, but there's it's been three or four at times an hour. So it's something um, that we could raise with the county and ask them what the process is. Who would be the best person to ask them that one? Um, Bob? I would probably start with Liam. Yeah. I'm just conscious that we seem to be developing more for those uh, potential depressions which will become potholes in Burton Road as a result. Okay, well, I'll put the line to the good email address. Okay, uh, who did the village green and toilet block? Brian? Oh, and and Andrew was on, but yeah, yeah, that did your um, you. Everything seems fairly good. Um, I planted a row of daffodils behind the main frame climbing frame at the end there. So there should be a reasonably good display, hopefully in March or whenever. And um, uh, the cubicle, the toilets are okay, but the cubicle in the men's toilet has been defaced with a lot of mud on the walls. 
Um, and also on the safety service by the roundabout, I noticed some striations. And I mentioned this to, to Colin, was it? On the climbing frame as well. But they yeah. seem to have gone, but there are some around the Yeah, it's roundabout. Just, as, just as if when they troweled the stuff in. It's like just marks for all the <laughs> Sorry. It's the image. Smooth it out for yeah. something. I don't think it's serious, but it's worth no. keeping it Keep on there. And uh, yesterday I noticed there was a dog lead hooked over the front fence, so somebody's lost a dog lead. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Now we've had a, a, a monthly report from GB Sports. There was no actions of a serious nature to consider. Rely on wine for we keep getting a lot of items on it, which would be nice to clear. Mm. And perhaps when we consider the uh, budget later, we could perhaps allocate <coughs> some money to somebody to somehow find out how we could just get a shot of every item that's on there. There's all no risk. Mm. Yeah, there should be no risk. Should, there should be no risk. risk. <laughs> Would they give a quote? Well, we can ask GB to come in. That's, yeah. that's something we could perhaps. Well, we'll discuss it when we do budget, yeah. the budget later. Uh, anything off the top? Oh, sorry, Colin. Um, sorry, Mr. Chairman. Can I go? Can I go back? Sorry, Peter. Um, the toilet block isn't on the agenda uh, under matters of consideration. I can't see it there. Um, and if you remember, no, if you remember last time, I gave you the quotes for the contractors, and we established um, Paul Dixon in principle. In principle, I tried to get hold of Paul. Obviously, he's not responding. Um, um, what I wonder whether we should write to Paul firm, formally and accept his quotation um, subject to um, uh, discussions and clarifications on floor coverings and um, toilet panels, um, which I've got to answer a question from Bob, which Bob was giving me on cleaning. But I think then it will concentrate Paul's mind that this work has to be done. Um, I could email him, you? Sorry? I could email him, actually, and ask him. Yeah, so can we just agree the wording, yeah. Owen? Um, so basically, you, you want to write him to confirm uh, the quote, subject to some detail. Yeah. Yeah. Clarification, Clarification. On, on, on details associated with okay. flooring in particular. Because obviously we discussed because yeah. we had those two quotes for separate yes. flooring. Mm. Yes. Um, yes. Ideally, going forward, we would want a flooring that's as easy to keep clean as possible. Yes. Compare what we got. Yes. Mm. Yeah. But we've also got to um, confirm the type of toilet pans. Mm. Um, and um, a suggestion was right. sorry. Sorry to throw this in, and there's no criticism, but a suggestion was made this afternoon at our financial thing. Mm -hmm. Could it be even, I know it's a little bit late even, but consideration have just simple a unisex facility mm. for disabled access. I know it's I, it was I know it's throwing a thing in at the last minute, but I did say to the, the person that raised it I would bring it up. Well I think if you do that you're talking about architects. Uh, you're talking yeah. about structural major structural changes. Yeah. Um, um, I, mean, I guess it would be you could close well, the suggestion was you could close the ladies, extend the storage from the back to the front, and then use the gents as just a unisex facility. The only comment I would make is we, we did sort of talk around that several months ago. We then moved on to this as a solution. I think we resolved that's what we were going to do. So we will be reopening something we've already. Oh, yeah. I, I suppose going to defibrillator <laughs> country again. Oh, I'm just conscious of the yeah. councillor that <laughs> raised it. It's not here tonight, so I, I, I did say I'll be half Okay, thank right. you. Moving on. Um, anything off flood mitigation? No, thank you. Nice and simple. Parish surgery and police matters. Did you have anybody come to parish surgery? We had a couple of people come in actually this afternoon. Um, um, one of the, I don't know if you recognise that. That's the offending bin. Um, and uh, 
this is the offending bin, which we, we yeah. which we, I think this is an article in the weekend, and we asked yeah. you for any comments that people had about its use um, for the future. Um, clearly, this is causing quite a bit of distress to, to the people involved. Yeah. Um, they, they have, <laughs> they said to me this afternoon, basically, if we would like them to, they'll remove it tomorrow. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying, mm -hmm. because at the moment it's not being used for yeah. normal waste, it's being used for other things. Mm -hmm. um, some of it... Um, the fig tree grower... Uh, Sedgemore was saying it doesn't, it's not there. Yeah, yeah Sedgemore's yeah, not there. Yeah, 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 they they they're empty. Yeah. Do they empty it? Yeah. Allegedly. Apparently. Well, it was there, so and, they, uh, they need to empty it, don't they? Well, they yeah. referred it to us, don't they? But we've thought about it for months, right? and it went in the brand new news months ago. And we were going to put it in for a month, and then if there was a co any comment, we were going to remove it, and it's still there, and we haven't removed it. So can I, time it goes. can I propose that whoever, however we do deal with it, let's get rid? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can do something then for our, but I mean, we can do with it at this point. I mean, it's not, you know. Just just a comment in terms of the whose bin it is. It's a bit like the bin on the green is our bin, but it's said, oh, empty, empty, empty it. So it's the same thing as that. So the ownership of this is still a bit uncertain. It's why, it's it could be the people that live there, it could be somebody else, you know. Well, it was originally there to service the bus stop, which is no longer there. Right. So I know it's not, we're probably jumping the agenda, that's okay. but well, it's, can, it's coming can, up. It's on there anyway, so we can, we can cover it. Okay. So I, I will make a proposal that we get rid. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm seconded. Can I have a show of hands or in favour? All in favour. Get rid. Get rid. Thank you. How are we going to get rid of that? He's going to get rid of that. Oh, well, right. The owner of the property. The, the, yeah, yeah. By, by, by the means. Yeah. 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 I'd be happy to do it. We'll do well, they're that. happy to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't have to hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> anything oh. else? Anything else on parasurgery? Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't think anything else, Brian. Was there when you were when you were mm -hmm. uh, John? Mr. John okay. Nails. Said what he was going to say to the night. So that's better, really. Killing came, she had a nasty cold. Same circle. So you were talking about the same thing. Exactly. Nothing else. No police support officer. Although we understand we might get some police support at some stage. Yeah, watch this space. No pig flying. Correspondence, then. Moving on. Oh, sorry. Two things. Diary dates, which you've already got. There is one error on there. I've got the 2nd of May. First of May, I think, the 2nd of May, um, for the May meeting, because that's too early, because the elections uh, would then effectively be the day after our meeting, which doesn't seem a great deal of sense. So we've moved it to the 8th, which is a week later. 8th of May. 8th of May. And of course, the January one, which would normally, if we went on the first Wednesday, would be the 2nd of The 2nd of the 8th is only six days. Well, it might be the first, actually, I'm not sure. I think it's the first. Yeah, it's the same days as we get there. What is that? The first and not And uh, so the other one is January, with January the 9th will be the January meeting, and not the second, because if we left it the second, Sedgemoor, we'll, a lot of it will be closed up, I won't be able to get any information from anybody, and indeed it will all need to be prepared between Christmas and New Year, so as last year, it goes to the 9th. Yes. Um, and the other thing is the road to this village green. Is that I've only taken it up to April because, of course, after April, after May, we don't know who, who will be joining us. I'm, I'm in May usually. Probably there. Yeah. there. Okay. So I'll, I'll complete that after the um, April May election. I have another book, don't I? For the village green. Yeah, no. yeah, I mean, at the moment, actually, I'm down for. Um, December one. Oh, yeah. And I was going to ask Andrew whether she would be kind of do my, yeah, yeah. my December one. Yeah, of course I Okay, so that's fine. Uh, <coughs> um, right, sorry. Uh, correspondence, just two, two bits of information. We've got the Sedgemore seal um, pro forma, which obviously we've got to, and I'll come on to this later on when we talk about the budget, but we need to identify to Sedgemore what the seal has actually been used for. Um, and we need to give them a, a, proper, a proper document which identifies the SIL the SIL funds. And um, so that's that one, so that's just information really. And then we've got this local crime report which I sent by email yeah. to mm. everybody. Which I guess, you know. Can you say that with, on the SIL thing we have to confirm if we get money yes, on what we've yeah. used, used it for? Because it might not must qualify for the SIL 
funding. And is there a time period on receipt to... Well, I've got to return this. No, sorry. Well, if we receive money, yes. how soon do we have to spend it? I don't think there's a... There's no time. time. No, that's, that's, time. Time. that's, that's good. good. Ten years. Not I think we're spending it rather than that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and that's, so that's the two items of correspondence. Can we pass the crime report down to yeah. Malcolm? Because obviously you didn't have... Yeah, Malcolm. You want to study it? So I, did, I did have a look at it uh, on the table to see if there are any your names in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, can we move on to the finance? Finance. Um, there are very few payments this month, actually, and unusually so. Um, we've got the statutory payments for December, which are those uh, previously, that's uh, Jason Mayo, HMRC, GB Sports, and the Clark. And we've got two other variable payments um, SLCC. Um, renewal subscription, £136, that's our annual subscription. And finally, we've got the external auditor fee, which is about six months since they did the audit. Um, is that the pounds. external auditor? External auditor. Um, inclusive of £60 VAT, which is obviously reclaimable. And on that, of course, you probably saw my note that we've reclaimed over £4,000 of VAT uh, so far this year, even though I only forecast about £2,800. So uh, the short one thing was, was quite a big chunk of that, of course. Um, so that's basically the, the uh, payment. So do we need do you a resolution on those? Yeah, we do, ideally. Can I have a proposal? We pay a second okay. it. All in favour? Thank okay, you. that's fine. And then we come on to the, um, the budget and precept. Now, I'll put it on the screen a little up. So we can actually see. You've all had a copy, except now Malcolm, you want to see if I agree. I've got a copy here somewhere. From Malcolm, so <laughs> That's it. Starting point review for the yeah. budget. It's not definitive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those two slides. Forecast is I've taken all the payments that we normally make and then forecast where I think it's going to end up as at the end of March. And on the right hand side, um, I've just had a first stab at it. That's what I reckon the starting point should be of a proposal. And I've done that in all the sections all the way down. Obviously, here, this side of it doesn't change greatly. Um, there's not a lot within this. It will make a significant difference. Where the big difference comes on the village costs, because you've got things like maintenance and play facilities and public amenities. So there's more more variation there. So if you, I mean, if you look at this the first one here, we're at budget 4275, 2737 up to date, 4646 is where I expect we'll end up. And there's just a marginal growth there for next year, 4780, and just based on just a couple of little tweaks there. So, very little changes in that area. Down here, uh, we had a budget of 15,550. Our actual to date is 25,000, which is not surprising because we had finger posts and, and the play surface. I expect we'll end up at the end of the year 28,000. 28, um, and so, therefore, because I didn't think we'd end up spending the same amount of money next year as we spent this year, the proposal, the proposal ends up being at 19,000. So. The bit that you can, that you can control really is, is the red line on the right. And any of, any of the costs on that you feel um, need to be changed, tweaked, increased, subtracted, whatever. Um, um, a couple of things. On the plate facilities, I think £500 is rather right uh, because we need to, um, we were talking about repainting stuff. Uh, we were, were talking about maybe doing something to the trim trail. Um, I think that's probably a bit light, but I'll be guided. 
uh, on special products item 31 is that a budget against the work that we propose to do on the toilet yes. block? Yes. Then I think that might be a bit light mm -hmm. because it's going to come out more than that. And I could uh, uh, give you the costs for the flooring that John got to um, put in there. Mm -hmm. But well, I think that that's that's light. Yeah, we we actually talked about it this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, and we concluded the same thing, Colin. No, right, I'm sorry. no that's yeah. fine. No, no, that's yeah. fine. Um, but equally, the other thing I mentioned was the fact that um, do we need to think about the existing sin and replace it as another project? Have we got any grant? Did, did that's some, well, right. Actually, that was, well, that was the other thing I was going to talk to you about because obviously the grant figure has been pretty well used up this year because we had the finger posts and the uh, short wand project, and they more or less uh, exhausted the grants we had from the solar farm, which was the two four, two two thousand pound grants plus um, the sill the sill figure. So they were. I've got another sheet which shows how that's made up. Basically, we used our reserves on those two items this year, but we will get another two thousand pound next year from the solar farm, so that we can cost that into next year's budget a little bit if we want to, because that that would be another amount. And of course we will possibly get some sill money next year as well, because if there's any development next year, then there'll be some sill money coming from that. So there will be some other bits and pieces coming in next year, but I don't think you can rely on them, that's the trouble. So you've got to, in a sense, you've got to almost, you know, ignore those, apart from £2,000, which we know we definitely will get from so far. That's the only sure, sure figure that we, we know that we'll get. Well, it, it needs to be replaced, yeah. um, and it's whether we put it in our budget and, if you like, borrow it off ourselves and claw it back from our reserves, and then when the, if and when the cash comes in, it goes back straight into reserves. reserves. Yeah. So, I, my own feeling is, is is that we should budget for something or, or take it out of reserves. Well, because we, we do need one. We could put in, um, if we put in 2,000, that would come, that would be covered by the solar so, 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 so farm. So do we need to put in 2,000? Well, I, no, I don't, I mean, I think basically what Colin says, I mean, if we, it doesn't but, matter what pot, in a sense, what pot it comes out of, as long as we can show it we can somewhere. Show, yeah, okay. Because I, I guess, I don't know how much one of, one of those will be, but my gut feeling is four grand. Three or four, I think. I think they've come down a bit in price, yeah. I seem to remember. Because yeah. I think each brand paid less than the other, the, other, the other comment that was made was defibrillator. defibrillator. <laughs> That's going to be discussed next month, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that is the only general reason one to Yeah, yeah. but equally, we need to allow for it. We know it needs to allow next June. So if you, talk, if you were talking about, say, the um, the SID and the increased toilet refurbishment cost, you're probably talking nearer, probably getting on nearer 10 probably by the time you finish in terms of special project, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. And have an allowance of, I would suggest another £1,000 on the 500 for the play services or whatever, but it's free. And that's, that's just, I'm just thinking aloud, I'm thinking of a starting figure. Yeah. If you're talking about another, at least another two to three thousand on toilet block possibly, and two, say two thousand on SID, three thousand on SID, you're talking, you're talking ten, aren't you? Yes. Really. Well, you, might get two, you might get two back from the solar farm, but... On the special projects, yeah. But as Colin said earlier, the we were a bit light on the play, play, yeah. the play equipment area. Yeah. Bearing in mind it would be nice to clear everything off the, all the issues that are outstanding. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to buy any new equipment if you've no. got another thousand pounds in it. No, but I was thinking of to deal with all the issues that are on GB Sports, for example, the painting, yes. replacing the <coughs> posts and that sort of thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we we'll expend our expenditure seems to have risen tremendously. Big I know we've had yeah. I know we've had grants, mm -hmm. but the pattern shows that, doesn't it? Yes. 
And the trouble is, Brian, that when you when you have a big project like we have in Crooked Lane, for example, yeah. it shows as a big expenditure. Okay, it's balanced out on the other side by the Inwood Grant. But when you look at it, it looks like a big yeah. big slug of expenditure which has come um, from the council really. Um, and that, yeah, not great. Shall I just say to Brian, it coincides with the chairmanship. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. so no, I'm not criticising it, I'm just saying that we, we, we think the loose should go to 6,000. We spent a lot of money for the good of the village. Yeah. So 6,000, 6,000. So we should be careful not to overspend. Yeah. 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 So well, 10, 10 I, think, I think the issue is not necessarily overspend, it's making sure that if we do spend, we can, we can afford to do it. Mm. Well, just a query, bro, the 5,000 that General mentions, mm. where is that? Because it was three thousand for the budget this year. Yes. I guess the lump of that was the finger posts this time. But yeah. why? Are we, why are we thinking it's up to the five? What's down? For the general maintenance, I got the forecast year in nine. Yes. I'm probably going. I'm suggesting twenty five. Yeah. But yeah. it's up from it's up three. three. It was it's up three. Yeah, I don't know. But I think it was just me. Uh, you know, okay. finger in the edge, or really. Yeah. It was a starting point. Because I thought there might be some maintenance issues that we hadn't really thought about, um, which would come out of this conversation. But if they don't, then we could put it down a bit. Now, could I also ask in terms of where things go? Obviously, the, the, the village green is the maintenance, the cutting of the grass and stuff. Yep. The churchyard contract is. What about the verges that we do around the village? Where does that they, they, come They go from? under uh, general maintenance. That's under general maintenance. So, okay. so the, way that, the way that Jason's costs are broken down is. His £6,800 a year contract is broken down between churchyard, village green, and general maintenance. Right. So his verges and so forth on maintenance, village green is his cutting, and then obviously the, uh, the churchyard, which has remained the same for quite a few years now, mm. is separate. On, on that, actually, Jason, as you know, has put his contract up a little bit because yeah. of the additional areas yeah. by £580 a year. So we need to build that into. Mm into, uh, that'll be into the maintenance side of things. We also queried if we're going to have now potentially three locations for um, mm -hmm. flower beds, mm -hmm. he's prepared to strim those at no cost. At no cost, yes. yes. Okay. Um, Mr Chairman, can I just ask, um, where do Dave Wellens costs go through for general maintenance? General, in there generally. Um, unless he does any on the village green. Where in general maintenance. Mm -hmm. In general maintenance. Then I think the 6,600 for the toilet block on its own should be increased by a further amount because Dave Wellens costs, because he's got a list of jobs to do, hasn't he? He has got some jobs to do. Money um, for, um, coming in. Really, the question why do you think 5,000 is a reasonable figure in there for, for all of those costs, plus any other jobs that come up? Because very often things come up during the year, don't they? Yeah. You're not necessarily well, thought we, about. we are talking about costs of about what, about three or four hundred pounds each yeah, time. Generally. Appear to be, yeah. don't they? Yeah, generally. Yeah. So without four hundred to five, it was, it was about twelve jobs yeah. we could do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we'll look at the moment. I'll change those those other figures yeah. and see how that looks on the yeah. bottom line yeah. in terms of precept. Yeah. Um, we'll do that. You know, straight away, so we can see what the bottom line looks like. The only other thing I haven't scrolled down on is the only other area is the um, is the grants. Um, and I have changed something since this book. The board queried me yesterday on the fact that last year we, we took the school out of the mix because, of course, I mean, technically we can't give the school a grant. Um, we can give the parent teacher association if they request one, we give them on coming to school. So I've now, I have already taken that out. The figures are the same. I've just removed that and there's just section 137 plus other grants. And section 137, just to so clarify, is basically a grant that's given to any organisation where the community distinctly benefit. The whole community. So for example, if the PTA came to us <coughs> in school and asked us for a specific project, that wouldn't necessarily constitute a section 137. Because it's not actually necessarily a benefit to the whole village. It could be benefiting the school uh, specifically, and the school comprises of children who don't necessarily come from Brent Knowles. So there's a, there's a bit of a debatable point here. Yeah. Well, argue, arguably, in my view, you could, apply, you could almost apply that argument to most 
potential grants. So my question is, do we actually need that category and we just have other other grants? I think they do like to see 137 grants. Do they? Who does? You want to Otherwise, I'd go to you, show you, you can keep the category, but you don't necessarily have to spend it. No, exactly. You can spend it on something else, surely. Exactly. Yeah. So, you can sell it's in there. Category. So, we can reduce that 400 down to 200 and put 200 on the other one. Yes, the real world, yeah, the total grants stay at 950, but you just, we just get tweak it around. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, now, if you, so when you look at the so obviously, without making the changes so far, uh, the proposal there is. The budget thirty four thousand one hundred and ninety from up to twenty nine thousand. Um, but of course we now need to change the special projects. Which we'll just change that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> here we are. We'll change that. Ten thousand there. Um, the other one was the Plus five hundred, so a thousand pounds on the plate facilities, wasn't it? Yeah. Which gives us a budget of thirty nine six ninety. What's it done to the next page? Right. Interesting. <laughs> the next page, of course, is a calculation. Um, <laughs> Find the look. Um, <laughs> So all that figure, all those figures transpose across on a formula, and if we decide to keep our reserves at the level we've got them at, then of course it pushes the project up to 40, 43,000. But of course you might decide that actually our, our, our reserves are too high. Mm. Uh, look at reserves, we've got it currently at that level, what was nine months. Thirty-one, thirty-one, nine hundred. What was last year? Um, so, and you'll see that in, in terms of res reserves now, I've put those zero, the wicks on the farm and the sill are now zero until we top them up again next year. So you could maybe assume you're going to get a certain amount from the grant income to mitigate the increases in the budget. You could do. I mean, when it's for a six month reserve as opposed to a nine month. Yeah. So what, what impact does that have? So, so, the, the, so the um, <clears throat> what the kind of target reserve is that on there? So we take that out a minute and put in that one. Back to thirty three, which is where we started. So so therefore that would be the way to reduce uh, your preset would be to reduce six, your reserve. Six months reserve. Six months reserve is at nine months. What was it last, last year, please? No, please, it was 30,900. 30, yeah. yeah, 29. 39, 8. Well, according to your. Oh, wait, that's not. No, actually. 31,128. There's a small grant in there. No, that wasn't the precept we said. There's a small community grant thing that goes in there. It's only about £100. Pounds. Nothing is less than. Is it about 8% or something? Um, so you see that that figure there, target reserves, changes everything very, very, very quickly. Um, well, can I just ask fellow councillors, would we be content to go from a 9 month to 6 month reserve? Oh, I'm going to declare an interest, but I'd like to spin it right out and then I retire. <laughs> and I would blame you, councillor. <laughs> Ooh. My own point of view, I mean, six months is, I mean, it's still 20, it's the best part of £20,000, which yeah. is more than we have had sometimes in the past. <coughs> and also, when you think, I mean, reserves are there if something goes wrong, well, mm -hmm. most of our money comes in through the precept. So for something to have gone wrong there, that means Sedgemoor's got no yeah. money, which is not. <laughs> we're all in trouble at that point. So I do remember that. I do remember that. Any grant you, any grant you get, that we haven't taken account of, Help. It's going to that dessert. So if you've got <coughs> 2,000 on the solar farm and 2,000, yeah. even from Sill, you have another 4,000 in there to add to your reserves. And you don't have to go three and nine. You could, you could, you know, you could change it. I've got a calculation there, but it doesn't have to be six or nine. It could be seven or eight. Yeah. It could be. 
potential. I, I, I would suggest, though, that by doing what we've done, and we're coming up with a figure of 33,000. Not too bad. That mm. seems quite reasonable. Mm. 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 And, and, and mm. so I would propose that we change, make the changes to the uh, fork, uh, budget rather, that we have put mm. in. We change our reserves from nine months mm. to six months. And that's the proposal on the table. Can I have a second there? Can I have a show of hands to say all those in favour? Thank you. Don't move around, I don't need the screen anymore. Okay. That's all right. Anything, nothing else on the counts? Can I just say thank you to Owen for sending that uh, sheet around the expenses over the last few years, several years? Yeah, it's quite nice one to see I think he was kind enough to do it last year, Brian, and I'm yeah. sure that he will do it next year. I don't think it's a useful aid yeah. in the to put it in our plan. Yeah. 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 Yes, we do. Yeah. 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 So just a short 41, so... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Thank you. That was <coughs> quite yeah. That's good. Right, moving on. Uh, Collins. I understand you have an update on the chest tomb. Um, Possibly. Uh, yes. Um, um, oh dear, where's the story? Um, I think, um, to coin a phrase, um, we've opened the box here <laughs> to a certain extent. And um, it, it, uh, the diocese are now involved because um, there is no ownership of that tomb and so therefore it falls under the uh, wardens, for want of a better word, no, that's, that's the right word, of the uh, diocese. Um, and so therefore <coughs> we have to go, or, well, I shouldn't have said we, but uh, someone has to go to the diocese now to uh, get permission to actually do this work. And they are talking about us getting a conservator's report, which is like an architect's report, um, and permission from Historic England, and uh, permission from the diocese, which goes all the way through. And there's a certain way of going about this. Um, Jed rang me uh, this afternoon and said that in order to set the ball rolling, a conservator's report is required um, and then we can make a, a formal application. Uh, the conservator's report would cost £280 plus VAT. So in other words, that has to be paid up front before we do anything. And then once his report has been put in, then we'll have to get a price, a further price, for any additional works that the conservator may well say is required. So from a, um, a grant um, uh, coordination um, point of view, it's now developed into a, a major project for this very small tomb. Um, and um, I spoke to George today and he felt it had grown a bit like Topsy. Um, but it's whether um, we want to um, put some money up front to get this conservator's report done because obviously George hasn't got any money uh, and can't get money until the project probably is done. Um, the, the application to St Andrews may well have to be resubmitted. They have come back and said they want a conservator's report, funnily enough. Um, so, or, or who is your conservator? So clearly they're on the ball. Um, so it, it's, it's gaining, and I'm, a bit, I'm just a bit concerned about it. Um, but that's our position. Uh, this project won't, and I think, forgive me drawing on, if I may, George, but this won't go forward unless we get this conservator's report, will it? That is true, yeah. yeah. So that's where we are. 
Colin, is that the same as what is sometimes called in the church a faculty? Sure. Yes. 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 Y
having to go via a conservator. The other problem is uh, having to go via the church authorities. <clears throat> I would think that we were doing them a favour. Yeah. But the way it turns out, there are all these hoops to go over. Now, Jed did say that they would give a hundred pound if the council gave a hundred pound immediately to cover this conservator's report. But there is this problem that, yes, when you involve a conservator, what he comes up with could be not what I want anyway. I'm very conscious of this money, and so I would only go so far. But this was one thing I said in my little note, that once we have this conservator's report, we can then find out what the cost is, because the faculty cost is a later one. The first we know, we need to know how much the money will be required due to the conservator's report. Now, Jed did say, and he sent a, I gather, a hundred page email Ooh. that, uh, you know, he thought that with this conservator it could be done even cheaper than what we think. But uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't place a lot of hope on that. But basically what they're looking for is uh, the cost of providing this uh, conservator's report. Sorry to put you on the spot yeah. to some extent, but are you still sort of committed that if we go ahead with the Conservatives report, that you're still committed to going ahead and finding the grants? You you're, you still think it's a project that you you want to drive? Yes, yes, yes. Did you quantify the um, precept cost? I know just as a request to uh, diocese, but one ought to know what the precept cost would be for something like that. I mean, there are various precepts. That you have within the church, without the church, and if you wanted to have, a, if you wanted to reserve a grave, you pay a precept. So I don't know what the precept cost would be, but the diocese should answer that. Do we know who this conservator is, and do we know? Um, Jed has spoken to one today, and hence he phoned me with the quote of two hundred and eighty pounds plus the yeah, so def definitive yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's got it. Conservative, so we've got, got to go it. Even though uh, Wells Cathedral, uh, Wells Cathedral yeah, Masons mm -hmm. are conservators, could they not do a report? I, I just don't know. No idea. No. Richard. I mean, we we did pledge. How much did we pledge? Two hundred pounds. Yeah. Well, my proposal would be that we carry through with this pledge uh, and we give. We, we, Engage the conservator, and then that is our contribution towards this project. So we engage. Is it us to engage, or is it George to engage, or? Is it <coughs> well, um, we just give them money. We just give them the money. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, the yeah. idea yeah. is that George yeah. will yeah. have the VAT. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. So yeah. we engage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the proposal is we would. Do we start the meeting? <coughs> oh, sorry. Because technically we're still outside yes. of it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Restart the meeting. The proposal would be that we would, instead of 200, we, in the first instance, we'll be offering, is it 200 and... Well, he's quoting 280. Plus that. Plus that. Plus that. Plus that. Plus that. So 280. Plus that. Can I have a seconder on that? I guess that, that's on the basis that we're expecting money to come back in due yeah. course anyway, so we could have uh, yes, okay. 200. Just, just for clarity, we get the Conservatives report, we give it to George, that's the end of our involvement yeah. until he comes back yeah. to us with the costs and the permissions to do it. Then we will help once again in coordinating the fundraising. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. On that basis, can I have so a... So you need a check from the council? Uh, I'll, I'll speak to, to Jed. Okay. Just let me know. Okay. On that basis, can, we've got a proposal, a second... Uh, right. And all in favour? Thank you. Thank you.
Sorry, that's just too much of a spec. We move for the try to do this quickly for school to finish. Uh, we move for the old notice board has happened. It's, it's happened apart from two posts, and David has got that on his list. And that would have been down had we not been stopped. Sorry? They would have been down had, they, had we not been stopped. Who stopped you then? Um, Matt came running up the path saying they're not going to take the post down because. Um, what's his name? Well, Mr. Wellens coming to do it. Really? Yeah. I just said to Dave, if they're still there, take them if they're not, they're down, they're down. His neighbour told him not to do it. <laughs> I, asked, I asked a certain person whether he wanted the post, and he said that you and he could not get them out. Okay. So therefore, I said, we'll get Dave Wellens to cut them off. No, he, that we was the decided that we couldn't get them out at that time because it would require excavating a huge bit of home. So we were going to cut them out, and I sorted out the grinding uh, machine and a hacksaw. Well, if you're happy to do that, that's fine. Fine. You go and tell your neighbour. Oh, yeah. Just back off. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell uh, Dave uh, to. Uh, <laughs> Whoever we'll gets there first. Yeah. Styles across the Crooked Lane Railway. Um, um, any further updates? Yeah, I've had a meeting with uh, another one with Chris East and um, Catherine Campbell. Uh, and I think we've solved the problem. Uh, he's going to get her what they call a <coughs> bishop. Bristol. 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 Okay. With a gate in the middle. Yeah. Tiny one. Yeah. Um, which she has been to see. She was not happy with the one she saw because there was a fault with it. So, um, but I think essentially she's happy. This work hopefully will be done before the end of the um, uh, financial year for Somerset, but he he thinks about February time he'll get it done. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. There's one update from that though. Um, I spoke to Sally Wingate about access across her fields to get to the style on the other side should we need to. And she was fine. She was really pleased that it was going to be done. But she said could we arrange and David will probably know the gate better than most here, but um, when you come down Bodies Lane and you turn right mm -hmm. to go towards the railway line, yeah. you go through one gate and then you go through a second gate yeah. in the middle, Very between the two fields. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and every winter it gets really, really muddy. And she said, could we put some rubble down? Yeah. Um, by this gate. Um, it's really to, sunk as well, yeah, you have to really climb over it. Yeah, it's really bad. And I said, well, yeah, I will take it. But it sounds to me that we've got to ask um, uh, Gary Pope whether he'll take a load of bricks down there. That's it. Well, you buy a load of stone, probably a bag of stone each gate. Yeah, some recycled concrete and some yeah. cheap things. Where, where, do where do we get that? Where do we get that? Where do we get that from? And I'll, we'll find out who's doing it cheaper. So would you? Know. Yeah. Thanks. That's and right. who would we get to do it then? Because it's pretty um, heavy. Okay. Probably a dry down your towels. Yeah, you're going to have to wait for it to dry a little bit now, I suppose. Yeah. The same that ought to be done. See, Mr. Sandy has been throwing out scalpings. Yeah. I'll have a thing. Okay. I would. Yeah. Okay. Get it. I'll get I mean, gross. Yeah, she was, she was really appreciative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So far, Kiosk, did you get any updates on that? Yeah, Kim and uh, Bella have uh, had a limited amount of time to meet because Bella's been unwell. Um, Kim has got some ideas that she wants to put forward when <coughs> Bella's feeling well again. Uh, so I think it's just on hold, really, until they've done that. She's got some, some mm. things that she'd like to do with it. And uh, I so said, well, you know, let us know what your proposals are. We can better or bring them back to the next project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cold calling concerns, I think. Brian knows that. Uh, uh, yeah, I put a little piece in the last PKN. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. As a okay. reminder to everybody, if they have any problems, to contact one of us. Okay. I've been opposite the school we've dealt with. Yeah. Matters of report, Malcolm. Um, nothing to report, but for the agenda next meeting, um, can we consider uh, adult gym equipment for the village green and uh, applying for a grant for a Kinkley Point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
Brian? Um, just to say I've still got a bucket of uh, daffodil bulbs in my carport. <laughs> if anybody wants to come and collect them, you can okay. just put them around the yeah. village. But Brian failed to sell you actually that we put them all around by the trees just yeah. as you go yeah. through the gate. This little pot. Okay. Uh, Andrea? Nothing. Okay. Um, one small point, but we haven't seen Bella for ages, I haven't seen her. Mm. Could um, a message be sent wishing her mm. uh, uh, give her our season's greetings and yeah. you know, best wishes and I hope she's okay. Well I did see we did see her this afternoon mm. and I have to say mm. she didn't look no, at all. Well. No, no, no. We're okay. Bye.